Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you um, with a pour on this large canvas. Just trying to see what size it was. Oh, 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 oh. I think it was uh, 60 by 60, I believe so. I will double check with the measuring tape at the end. Um, but yeah, it's nice big canvas and I do want to leave some negative space. So please wish me luck because I'm not very good with negative space in life and in art. <laughs> so there you go. So I've got, I've just coated this. It, it looks very black, but I tried to make like a very, very dark black navy. So it's mostly black with phalo blue and very dark green and it sort of makes it really blacker than black. So um, that's what I'm going to um, use as my negative space. But for the rest, I'm going to use mostly um, metallics and I'm going to do, I better get that out of the way before I knock it over because I've been knocking paint over this week. So, um, yeah, mostly metallics. They're all global paints. My pouring medium recipe is in the drop down box. It should be a little V or uh, say see more or description below this video. So I'm going with metallics and we're gonna cr hopefully cre create some magic in metallics. So I do want to do my guideline for where I want my negative space whether that works out or not it's a whole different story but I will try and oh it looks like I might need more paint oh my goodness see I was using up paint that I had left but I thought I'd have more than enough but I'll still try it we still just push on and um you know, if I need it, I will have to quickly make some more up. So I'm just having this, in fact, I can push that in further because I'm going to do, the composition of this will be around, all the way around the outer side. So it's going to be a dark as night inside. And I probably should have um, done a bit of... Uh, measuring so I kind of keep it all uniform but you know I'm not one for perfect so let's just try it as it is it doesn't have to be perfect I, I just want some of this paint pushed to the outside because I will be blowing a little bit on the inside or well, the inside edges should I say so I think I think that's gonna be fine we will see, hey, we will see. So pretty excited to use this on this big canvas. So it should look, should look wonderful, but you know, we just do our best. So I'm gonna go do me wiggles all the way around. And there you go, a fly appears as soon as I get my paints out. It's so unbelievable, I haven't seen a fly while I've been messing around in here making paints, but as soon as I go to pour, you bet it's there. I'm gonna use all of this one up. I want plenty of gold in it because it's got the dark, a lot of the dark colors, so it'll make the gold pop for sure. Okay, so that's the metallic gold. Done, done, done. Then I'm going with the metallic copper. Let's try and get this. Around.
Yeah, just nice and easy, just relaxing as you do it. Don't rush, it's no rush. Kind of make your paint time when you haven't got a rush to go anywhere so you can enjoy it. There you go. Is that equal? No, that's a bit. See, I should have probably done a little bit of checking for my measurements, but you know, it is what it is. It's abstract art, so don't fret too much about it. So this is the lovely turquoise. Consistency is, it drips off. It leaves a very small trace because it has to be a little bit thicker, but not too thick for balloon work to stick, I believe. Well, I find in my work. I'm going to go around the edge with that one as well. So hopefully this looks wonderful. Oh, yeah. I hope you guys have all been going well and um, the troubles of the world haven't been bearing down on you too hard and you try and find something to ease the... Um, Stress is what's going on in the world at the moment, but you know, got to find things that give us joy, otherwise, you know, you can really um, not take things very well. So, I find that art is one of the best things for those kind of situations, is just, yeah, get into your art, pour your heart out, into your canvas, enjoy every moment. That's what I try to do. My time, my space, <laughs> my way. <laughs> Okie doke. This is my metallic silver. So I've got it all in here. As you know, I usually put way too much paint on. So I'm going to try and make this my last one. Maybe. I'll have to have a look. I might need a bit of white in here to, yeah, I think I will. Or maybe the silver brings it out. Doesn't matter that I've got the, still got the black back, this showing underneath because um, by the time I balloon it, because I'm not going to tilt this one. I'm not going to tilt it anywhere because I end up covering too much of my canvas. No, I've got the main ingredient that I want to put in there. Oh my goodness, almost forgot to do it. It's my berry, well this isn't as dark as I normally make it. This was made out of the magenta or a very deep red and phalo blue. I didn't add any black to this one. So I wanted to put this in. So now I can't go too much, <laughs> she says. But I will need, yeah, so I'll just put a little bit of this in. I need, as I said before in other paint, uh, other videos, I need a wrist slapper. Someone to slap my wrist and tell me, get out of it, too much. Okie doke. I think that's going to do it. I've got a little bit of white I want to add. Oh, well, actually, it's a little bit left of grey, so teeny tiny bit. So we get this in here. Ooh. Let's see how we go with this. Now... Oh, this is going to take a lot of blowing. I have got pre-made up in this uh, bottle is 
um, Amsterdam Titanium White and Floetrol, usually equal parts, 50% paint, 50% Floetrol. If it's a little bit thick, then you obviously just add a little bit more Floetrol. So I just find that this adds lovely cells. Uh, it does work with other paints, but it works particularly well with Amsterdam paint. So I'm going to put some of this in here and around here. Hopefully I can get my lovely lace going. Okie doke. I might... I always get my itchy nose when I'm doing this. I'm going to have to turn this around because I can't get over the other side. So, woohoo! Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Hope I've still got it in the frame. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I haven't overdone it with the blowing because I will use the Aussie card slide or just the card slide, I suppose, to go through. Let me get a fine piece of, um, oh, let me try this, I'll try this. It's just the um, soft plastic file divider and I've cut teeth into it. So Jilly's tooth swipe, I'll just try it for just bringing out some of the colours into the centre. But I'm probably going to ruin my blows then if I do that. Let's just put a few of those tooth swipes in. Not sure whether I'm particularly liking the tooth swipes, but something different, isn't it? Just wiping off your little swiper in between. Yeah, don't I don't want too many of those. Not really. They're not really floating my boat. Uh, where's my little bit of card? Let's try my card. See how I go. I'm getting rid of all those lovely. Um, blows aren't I that's just a piece of card try it it's doing it because I want to keep the negative space but I want to soften it so this seems to be working perfect Yes, the lacing that comes up is just delicious. Divine, absolutely divine. Okay. Go over that one again. I think that's got enough. I could just do some fine wispy, wispy ones. So it's when it's you're doing it, just, uh, yeah, just stand back maybe, look at your piece of art and see, you know, do I need more, do I want to do more? You know, it's your choice, your art, your art, your way.
I kind of think that definitely softens up the center. I mean, if you come to um, whether you're resin or you're just gloss coating, you can always add some embellishment if you want to put a few stars in the center. So, you know, that works well too. So it looks like a starry night. Alrighty, better slap my own wrist. Stop, stop and double stop. Okie doke, let's move these paints because I'm not very good with... Yeah. Not, if they're not in my cup holder, I knock them over. So that's got to get everything out of the way. <laughs> right, I'm going to start with my big balloon. Now, as I, everybody, I keep, this is the most requested that they, you know, doing your balloon kisses and it's not working and how long do you leave it? And I've done so many videos and so many, much explanation on these balloon kisses. It's all to do with the consistency of your paint that you put down in the first place. Um, so not too thick, not too thin. When you first balloon kiss, hold your, there you go, creating some balloon magic. Hold your little, um, belly button in your hand and you know nice soft balloon you can have, a, have an array of different size balloons blown up for different size kisses um, so if you get the paint starts to fall in and you can either wipe your balloon off every time Ooh, I've, I can't believe it I've spilt more paint how did that happen oh there must be a paint spilling fairy in here um, Sorry, so if your balloon, if your colours all fall in, wipe your balloon off and dip back over that space again. If it's still happening or going muddy, leave the whole piece of work alone. Walk away, go and have a cuppa, come back in half an hour, an hour even, and then your paint will have absorbed into the canvas and hopefully be ready for the balloon kissing and, and work out much better for you. I mean, I really want people to be able to do this because people that are asking me really are desperate to get these balloon kisses down pat because it is a lovely technique. So here we go. We'll see how this comes. Even though I've got this space here, I will fill that with the paint off the balloon. So it's no big worry. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. And then... Oh, it is so nice, so nice. See, that's that's falling in there. I'll just use that paint. Um, that's falling in there. So what you do, wipe your balloon off real well and just press back into it again and leave that... Um, and there you go, on your little merry way. I need to go into all these areas that haven't got paint on, so better push it a bit back from the end, of, you know, so the paint now has covered that area. So I'll just go about my balloon kissing. Oh, this is just gonna be really, really lovely, lovely. So there is a lot of paint on my canvas. So if you're not used to doing the balloon kissing, you would definitely have to walk away if you're not competent, you know, with the paint being so much on your canvas. So I've been talking away here while I was doing all my balloon work and I've just come to finish off my video and say goodbye to you guys and realise the camera had stopped. So this is it. I don't know why it stopped because it got 20 minutes, 19 minutes and then stopped at all my balloon work. So there you go. This is the finished product. I am absolutely extremely happy with it. It was just ballooned all the way around the edge as you've seen me start to do. Um, but technical issues, 
uh, but it probably was the boring bits because this painting took a little bit while to go around but I am going to leave this to dry off a little and come back just with my tiny teeny balloon and go back and dip that teeny balloon in the centre of the, the balloon kisses that I have now. So I do hope you like this video, uh, this particular painting because um, it's gorgeous. I'll bring my camera down and do a close up for the colours, I believe. No, I won't, no, I won't. I won't. I'll just leave it to dry and I will take photos and there'll be photos at the end of this year because I'm, obviously something's going on, whether it's with my camera not filming, so I don't want to stuff it up completely. So I hope you guys have a good week. You please take care of yourselves. Do something that gives you joy. And until tomorrow, I'm here every day. So be back tomorrow, guys. Please consider joining me. I am almost up to my 100,000. I think I'm about, well, probably by the time this video goes out, I'll be on 100,000. So that is a pretty um, fantastic achievement for me personally. So very happy about that. So see you guys um, tomorrow. So bye for now.